Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's The Good Hot Shot. I hope everyone's doing okay today. We are back on the channel for some more Troy at Total War Saga. Uh, in the last episode, we started the campaign. We colonized the tiers. We defeated some noble rebels in this elite direction. And uh, the goal of today's episode is we're going to march north to Tagir. <clears throat> and uh, take this settlement that's the plan and i really hope it goes well but if we do that we will then have one two and three more provinces to deal with okay um but i'm up for the challenge and that's what we are going to do Do you serve the cause of Ares? Should you take this action, war will surely follow. If we have a look, I'm just trying to think. We could go over here and take these two because this is on the... A, um, a two province minor. So if we come over here, <clears throat> we have the guys to ask the guys to come over here, and then we will march on Messini and then further south to Pylos. That is what we shall do. So we're gonna end the turn. End the turn, ladies and gentlemen, peeps. As all these factions are chilling. So we have successfully completed this mission. Uh, 750 wood and 500 stone now in the treasury. That's very nice. And we are going to take this guy out. Um, do 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 do. And just to make sure, we do have garrisons over here so that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and again end my turn and then we're gonna march to messini and take this mother trucker out dude your military might grows and with it your influence and reputation yet your enemies rally against you make the effort to expand your fighting forces and keep the foe at bay so we are five units higher than this. Don't falter now. Your warriors have reached the city. Though they no doubt long for battle, consider instead a siege, encircling the enemy and starving them out. Victory awaits. So as you can see now we've got a little graphic change, so we now there's spikes all around here. And I think because we're in yeah, exactly. We're in foreign territory, so we can't <clears throat> increase these guys. So basically, as these turns now go on, these guys will now take attrition. The Messini people. Uh, I'm just really hoping that they don't have a relief force at Pilos. So to counter that, uh, we are going to make a second army. Uh, we're going to recruit a hero. Warlord Commander, uncompromising isn't a strong enough word, so it gives motivation after this hero kills captive, motivation after this hero loses Saxon raises settlement, uh, minus two to motivation after signing a peace treaty with the neighboring faction, and minus one to motivation after it, this hero ransoms captives. So 
so I'm going to go for the top guy, I guess. Recruit him. And then <clears throat> Shielded Clubman. Good defense. Medium. Okay. So someone else has now got Oh. Shielded Spearman Spearman. But they are very expensive, 220 bronze per one and 40 bronze per turn. So that just for having one, that would take us down to thir making 30 bronze a turn. Um, for now, this guy will... Do enthusiasm for expanding our armies is commendable. There is a limit to how. Um, no, we will do four of these. Um, and then this is effectively going to be our relief force that's going to come and reinforce us. And without further ado, let's go on to turn six. how they react to that siege because they could come out of the siege but then they wouldn't have the garrison so they're going to march out of there It looks like we're not gonna win. We're gonna. We. I tell you what. We are going to retreat. Now it depends where we retreat to, but if they leave that settlement, they will not have uh, a defending force there. Settlements reflect your growing reputation. Fully develop your capital, and it will project your Majesty the length and breadth. World. So we're going to go ahead and build a quarry down in Oitlum. And we're going to uh, go over from have a ruined port to Boatstrands. And foreign barracks. Local recruitment capacity, recruitment cost of foreign units. Uh, no, we won't do that yet. I don't think. Um, but again, we're going to have... Uh, we'll have four spearmen and four shield and infantry. It's fine by me. Not all who serve you give their best. Here we see one whose lack of motivation makes them of limited use, perhaps even a liability. So the performance of must be taken to remedy this. The performance of heroes is dependent on how motivated they are to fulfil their duties. It is the responsibility of rulers to inspire confidence and zeal in their troops so that they in turn will carry out their orders with rightful valour. If a hero's motivation drops too low, they will start to perform badly in battle and undermine influence and happiness in their local province. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to leave these guys here because I believe that these guys won't march out of the city obviously because they've got the tactical advantage, right? So I'm just going to put Menelaus in this province which we have military access through and we're going to merge him with him and everything's going to be lovely 
hopefully. Anyway, that, that that's the plan. If it all goes horribly wrong, you can blame me. Feel free to have no load. So there. Okay. Well, they have some very elite bow infantry. We have some slingers, some axemen, but we basically almost outnumber them two to one in the mountains. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fight this battle. The Iliad. No, even if in the kingdom of Hades the dead forget all, even there I will remember my dear companion, Homer the Iliad. Cool. So it looks like there's going to be three choke points for us. So we're going to try and hold a, a choke point. Um, I mean, we are Spartans for fuck's sake. We're very good at holding choke points, you could say. Hello again. It can be the case that this game might crash from time to time. It hasn't crashed on me yet, fingers crossed, touch wood, there we go. Uh, but again, it is a very new game. So so yeah basically what i was saying from the map here is we are back here right and we have quite a large army now and we have three choke points we've got one here one here and one here now the problem i've got is i could i don't know if you can they can shoot across this water uh it may be possible so i might have some slingers here so uh if i group them and they can shoot over the water if these guys try tell you what we'll have one guy there shooting over here and we will have one like that shooting over there if they have oh but we won't be able to see any hidden okay no worries and then we're gonna have we have our spearmen as well as our spear runners in a group gonna put those there i would like these guys to be No, no. I don't know how I get rid of groups. One group. There you go. And then these guys group, and then these guys group. So we got. Uh, want this group here uh, and then I would like the third group uh, chilling maybe here just in case they try and come a long way around and then I want fresh axes behind and axes here just in case they try and come around and then these guys I guess can chill over here oh no wait uh, no we'll have two axes in fairness and then we will have Menelaus in the middle there, rallying troops. 
so here is the enemy army I'm just wanting to see what they try to do I've got bow infantry which are very insane range looks like they're going to try and weaken us with the bows and head head around here the foe has sighted your hidden units Move these guys back a bit, so then the bows move forward. Ah, uh, no, these guys, yeah, these guys are gonna go that way still. Fire at will, please. And then what we're going to do, right, because we know they're coming from the other side, we're going to have the infantry here, and it looks like we're falling back. And then we're going to have the swords come out and charge these guys. I'm waiting for these units to get a sight of them. These guys are getting tore apart now. These are the spearmen and our Your hero is under attack. Here they come. Gonna have these spearmen engage these guys. And then we're gonna have this guy these guys now turn and face. Then these guys are routing. So then I want group three to go and mop up these guys and I want the spears to come over here. So they'll put them there or something. And these guys are about to row. Got no stamina. So then ask all of these guys to come back here. Looks like they've got reinforcements. And we're going to get Menelaus in there to help. So we're out of ammo for the slingers. These guys are about to break. Get the swords to engage the spears, stop them from flanking. Your warriors are losing heart. These guys are routing. Get some more swords in there. And I think these spears are going to be okay. Because ours are shielded. Then we're going to ask the them to come forward. Victory. 
Titty is close enough to taste. That hero is trying to route. Spears are holding them there, and our swordsmen have almost killed this entire unit. And there we go, nice. So then these guys, quick march. Oh no, actually, hit these guys, come over here, and then we will have them swoop round. So then they lose more exhaustion quicker because they're flanked. These guys are routing. And get them to engage those bow infantry. Uh, as these guys flee. And these guys are fleeing now as well. That's a victory. So they came out to attack us, and we got a very good decisive victory because of our terrain. So you are victorious. The corpses of the enemy litter the ground, and those still able to flee do so with the laughter of our gods ringing in their ears. Very well done, Spartans. So we had 800 men, they attacked us with 500, we lost 144, and they lost almost double of that. Uh, with two of their units wiped out. Um, we've some good kills from everyone in fairness. No one carried that battle. Um, but that's very well done from the guys defending that. But they've lost, you know, half an army there. Uh, riding out to marches. To riding out to attackers. Um... Defensible terrain is always well. If you can work around how you reckon they're going to attack you, absolutely solid. Absolutely solid. Come then, let us exchange glorious gifts so that the, all the Achaeans and Trojans save us. They did battle in our all consuming, all consuming hatred, then joined together in friendship before parting at last. So there you go. There you go. Decisive victory. Again, like I said, we wiped out two of their units. And we are... Uh, we will spill their blood. Your heroic deeds have earned you the blessings of Ares. Through your actions you gain greater experience, and thus the means to develop your skills further. It only remains to choose the manner of such development. Okay, so basically what he's saying is we we upgraded our hero last time. And now we could level up our guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, I've already read this, but basically the Dread of Ares perk isn't that good. It only gives you um, two and a half percent hit points to your hero, uh, but you lose 15% morale and 15% stamina, which, you know, could make you break. So instead I'd go for Assault and Battery, which gives you two and a half percent to your hero's hit points, but the actual ability itself, um, assault and battery, sixty percent armor piercing damage. That's really good for for any shields or any mediumly armored uh, troops we come up against. That's quite good. 
And uh, yeah, so they rode out and these guys won't heal because we're not in friendly territory. Um, however, these guys, I do believe, are now completed. So we're going to go ahead and mer uh, get these guys <coughs> together. And then we'll move these guys within range of each other. So that in case they ride out again, we have reinforcements this time. But that's going to be uh, the end for today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. You don't have to. I don't make the rules. But if you do, you really support me. Appreciate that. And uh, comment down below. Feel free. And I uh, will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.